What up, A-OK Mafia? It's your boy, R that kicks it just like that. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So a little bit earlier today, I uploaded a video. Um, a Try Not to Laugh Challenge. R that kicks most hilarious moments. I should have did top 10, something like that. I might go, excuse me. I might got to go back and change that title up. <coughs> excuse me. But anyway, we got a video here. Another dog video. 10 most illegal dog breeds in the world. I like these. I like these a lot. A buddy of mine bought um, one of these illegal dogs recently. Now I had to go to his house quite often and play with the dog and pet it and talk to it so that they can get used to me. It's a puppet now, but that thing going to get big. I mean, by my size. So, you know, uh, I, I got to make sure he know who I am. Because I, I don't want those problems. I don't want those problems. Anyway. Y'all ready? I'm ready. If the dog comes up on this list, I'll tell you. I'll let you know which one he got. But until then, there'll be a mystery. Let's go. Oh, dang. Did you know each year there's 4.7 million dog bites in the USA alone? What? 4.7 million each year? Look. That's a lot. That's a lot. Many different types of dogs Ooh, are that. bred to guard, fight, and protect. Some have huge. Wait a minute. Are we are we counting the ones that, or like, you know, they the the canines at the at the police station type of dogs? You know, those dogs. Are we counting those, or are we only counting you know the incidents? I don't know. Muscles, long, sharp teeth, and possess incredible strength. A, Ever heard of a dog with the bite force of a lion? That's a big or dog. one that's big enough to play with a full grown tiger? Today we'll look at some of the most dangerous dogs in the world. That's a big dog. This dog is a huge, powerful, dominant, and intelligent animal with strong watchdog instincts. I, I've seen and this. don't even think of owning one unless you have experienced training animals. Oh, no. Just look at these two. There ain't a dog on this list I'll be able to own because I ain't had a dog yet. Well, I need to start with a chihuahua. They pretty feisty. <laughs> you know, I need I need to start small. Two dogs. Now, imagine that you're the one trying to train these ferocious beasts. The self Yo, that dog look like a lion compared to that man. African Borble was bred to hunt lions and baboons and is the most agile of all mastiff breeds. If this dog is improperly handled or badly trained, it could easily tear through your muscles, tendons, and even break your bones in two with a snap of its jaws. I'd be terrified to get bit by this dog. There ain't no way. The Borble can weigh up to 200 pounds. I, see, I told you they'd be my size. To 27 inches at the shoulders, and they have the biting power of over 800 pounds per square inch. Woo! We that hope hurts. you would never be in a situation where the dog needs. Shut up! How the heck? Google just in there talking to himself. I ain't say nothing to that mofo. I'm like, who the heck in my house? To protect you, because it won't be a happy end for anyone. Because of its aggressive nature and ability to do serious harm, Borbles are forbidden in many countries. Look, that dog is just forbidden to be around me, period. I'm not, I'm not. I don't care if I had it from a puppy. I'm always be afraid of this dog, because what if I'm playing with it and he get a little bit too rough and then I kind of piss him off because I smacked him or flicked him in the tail or something or flicked his ear and he got mad at me and then next thing you know, I'm done. I'm done. He gonna get me right here and I'm done. The first thing you might say when you first see this breed is, what happened to that dog? The Chinese Chongqing might not be anything special to look at, but he is an amazing hunter. This dog naturally developed traits of Yo, what dog is this? It looked like a freaking a French bulldog mixed with something else. <laughs> you got a French bulldog's face. Over 2,000 years of breeding to hunt large animals like wild boar, water buffalo, deer, rhino, elephants, tigers, and wolves. And a dog that can hunt such dangerous animals needs to be twice as brutal. 
The Chongqing has a big, strong, broad chest and a big, flat muzzle, both of which make it super tough despite its relatively small size. Average height is 15 to 19 inches at the shoulders and can weigh 44 to 55 pounds. Unfortunately, this dog is extremely rare. Almost as rare as yeah, the Yeah, I was about to say, I've never seen or heard of this dog before. Chinese panda with less than 2,000 dogs left in the entire world. Wow. Makes me want one. I want a rare dog like this. I bet they're expensive, like five grand, maybe more. This dog has a fearsome reputation that is well deserved. Originating from Pakistan, the Bulikuta is an enormous, Woo! aggressive, and dangerous dog weighing 150 to 170 pounds a with a bite force of 224 pounds per square inch. It is not a dog for the inexperienced or faint hearted. Because of their size and aggression, they are still used illegally as fighting dogs. Even if you spend a few hours daily training this animal, thousands of years have made them fighters, and you cannot cut out their fighting gene. Dang. The Bulikuda descendants were large hunting and herding dogs. One thing is clear. This is an awesome guard dog that has a very loud and aggressive bark. Yeah, I've never seen this dog before either. This is crazy, man. This dog's out there that a lot of people would never even know of, man. But this does seem like it will make for a phenomenal guard dog. If you have this dog as a pet, write us how it adapts to the family. We would pin your comment. Named after Afghan nomads, the Coochie or Afghan... The who? This dog name is what? I'm not even going to repeat it. <laughs> the coochie! I lie. Named after Afghan nomads, the coochie or Afghan shepherd was created to help Afghan migrants guard their caravans and cattle against wild animals. Man, people out here creating dogs. Coochie are very large, coochie. measuring about 30... I'm gonna call if I get a coochie, I'm gonna call it coochie, and I'm always say coochie, coochie, coochie. Five inches at the shoulders and can weigh as much as 175 pounds. That's a big this coochie. This dog is fearless and will fight mountain lions, wolves, and go after bears much larger than Whoa, them. Whoa, look at that beautiful coochie. This is a beautiful dog. Look at this. I ain't never seen a dog look like this before. I've never. Look at that Gucci. <laughs> ah! And just looking at this dog, I believe if there was a T-Rex, it would definitely fight it too. To say these dogs are tough is an understatement. There are three varieties and all can survive in extreme heat or cold without shelter, food, and water for several days. Their teeth are very large, with fangs often bigger than one and a quarter inches long. Dang. This dog is not for inexperienced owners because... Yo, look at this one. Goodness gracious, that's a coochie? <laughs> ah, yo, that is a beautiful, beautiful dog. Coochie are territorial, aggressive, and extremely dangerous towards strangers and other dogs. You see, look, you just can't you just can't hang around any coochie like that. You see what this man said? They're extremely dangerous towards strangers. Man, look. I don't play with all coochies, man. With their weight, speed, long sharp teeth, and an almost perfect scissor bite. They are a force to be reckoned with if you enter their territory without permission from their owner. That's a beautiful dog. Goodness gracious. I've never seen one before. Also called the Pakistani Bulldog, the Ghoul Dog. God dang, Pakistan got all kinds of mess out there. I go out there and see their dogs. I'm like, what the what? I ain't never seen these dogs before. Is muscular, very strong, and tough. Just by looking at these photos, you realize they are badass yeah. little dogs. Wait till we show you how cute they are when puppies. It's like seeing... Yo, that was a massive puppy. The cat from Shrek. 
However, as cute as it looks as a puppy, when grown, this dog is fast, agile, strong, with a deep wide chest and strong powerful legs and can weigh up to 90 to 140 pounds. This dog wouldn't be your first choice for a family friend. Heck nah, look at that, that dog is too big. The everyday pet because it was originally bred as a fighting dog and is still used in Pakistan for this purpose. So if you try to walk around with him and you meet another dog, you guess what's going to happen, right? And if you think, nah, I'd just skip it and get a pug dog, we want to mention that Guldong is intelligent and learns easily. So if you dedicate yourself to training a Guldong, it might be a cool dog for you. I've never seen that dog before either. Beautiful. At least I don't think I have. Maybe. We've done one of these videos before, but I don't remember any of these dogs that we've came across so far. Maybe the first two. Leave me alone. Revered as a status. We definitely seen this dog. The Tibetan Mastiff. Yeah, we've seen this one. Symbol in mainland China. The ancient breed Tibetan Mastiff is one of the most expensive dogs in the world. Really? With the puppy being bought for two million dollars. Oh, heck no. Nah. However, one might get a little more. Man, there's people out here that ain't even worth that much when they should be. But you wouldn't you wouldn't pay two million dollars for a person, would you? Some people might, but that's I don't know, but still, I couldn't imagine. To bargain for with this massive animal, the Tibetan Mastiff can be a very dangerous animal, as one woman found out in China when she suffered a brain hemorrhage and multiple bite wounds after being attacked by one. Man. These dogs were originally bred to protect sheep from wolves and are- Yo, did the dog bite her head? Actually banned in many cities. Attacks of the dogs are common, and once it took 20 police officers- Yo, that makes sense. This dog was bred to protect sheep from wolves. I bet them wolves came along and was looking like, yo, what the freak? Big old black sheep. Why that? What's wrong with that sheep? And then it came after them like, oh snap, that ain't a sheep, that's our cousin. And he bigger than us. ...to take down two Tibetan Mastiffs attacking pedestrians. This animal is so ferocious and huge that a zoo in China tried to pass one off as an African lion. It's African lion. Look at that. That sucker looked like I was literally thinking that looks like a lion. And no wonder. This animal has the head of a lion and the body of a bear. Males are big and can weigh as much as 130 to 155 pounds. Believe it or not, they also have the... I would have been like, yo, why is this lion barking like a dog? How you gonna pass that off as a freaking lion? The bite force of a full-grown lion measuring 550 to 650 pounds per square inch. Whoa. Also known as the... I don't want to get bit by no dog ever, but definitely not no Tabascan freaking lion dog. Central Asian Shepherd Dog, or the Wolf Crusher, this dog has been called the most fearless and courageous animal in the world. This ancient breed has been dated back some 5,000 years. Really? In the event of a threat, the alibi coldly and with striking accuracy will rush to attack. That's a beautiful dog. Big as heck. I don't see how people be liking big dogs, man. I'm like, yo, this mofo is in the way. I need, look, I can't even relax. Big old dog in the way. Man, look, I, you got to stay outside. Look, I'm going to build you a whole heated house with AC and everything in the backyard because you too big to be in the house all day, every day with me. You can come in and visit every day, but you can't stay all day no i don't see how people do it it is one of the largest dogs and can weigh from 80 to 110 pounds so nah that's cap that dog right there weigh about 200 pounds did you see the freaking shocks and, and springs on that truck drop down nah that's cap that's cap that was a heavy dog Some experts say the bite force of this dog Woo! can range from 550 to 710 psi Two -two. which is nearly as strong as the kangol this is an alibi playing with a full-grown tiger without any fear at all. You can see how big this dog is compared to the tiger. And even the tiger thinks this alibi might be too much for him. Imagine how cool it would be to own both of these pets. 
them ain't pets. They need to stay in the wild. They need to stay in the wild. You feeding that dog? Now that dog can feed himself. New heavily muscled dogs are now being bred with gene mutations. In 2015, a team in China created the world's first gene edited dog, which had twice the muscle mass of a regular bred dog. The Bully Whippet is what you call a super dog that has a stronger running ability, good for hunting and working with police you. and military. The gene mutation in this breed causes a lack of myostatin, causing their muscles... Yo, that dog don't even look right, man. Why they have to gene, gene mutate this dog, bro? This dog don't even have the face for this type of mutation. Like, it just, just cut short underneath his chin. It don't look right. It looks wrong. Causing their muscles to grow abnormally large. These dogs look a bit scary with huge back leg muscles. This fool look like he just stay in the gym lifting all day. And he ain't never lift a weight in his life. A huge chest and giant shoulder and neck muscles. One of these famous... That junk does not look right, man. They did this to the wrong dog. I'm telling you. It don't look right. Dogs is Wendy the Whippet, who weighs 65 pounds. Dog don't even have a chin, man. This dog, it only weighs 65 pounds of just pure muscle, man. This dog don't even got a chin, bro. Stacked full of muscle mass, she's twice the size of a normal Whippet. See, look, you need to leave a Whippet alone, man. Look, that's how the dog's supposed to look, man. That makes sense. Skinny as heck with that little head and no chin. You give a dog this muscle mass stuff that you done did to it and look at it. Little head, no chin. But that's not all. Normally bred whippets can run up to 35 miles per hour. But a bully whippet with the right gene mutation is even faster. With such speed, powerful muscles, and a mouthful of canines, this would be one dangerous animal in a bad situation. Imagine this kind of gene editing in humans. That would be scary. Yeah, go ahead, do it to me. Do it to me. I, I'm ready. This is a brand new breed of dog that was merely a concept. Yo, what the freak? I ain't never seen this thing before. Look at the face on this dog. How the heck y'all come up with this? And this is Tiger Stripe. It got a little tiger in it. How y'all gonna say it's a concept dog? Who the heck out here making... I thought people only made concept airplanes and cars. We making concept dogs too now? But the word is that breeding for this animal has already started. Look the visionary that. for the Molosa Presa Mayo is a breeder by the name of Chad Mayo. He has started crossbreeding large dogs like... He, it don't look like a... Like the English Bull Terrier. Oh, it's a Bull Terrier. American Bully. Oh, American Bully. And the Presa Canario. The result is a dog that is extremely powerful with a wide and heavily muscled chest and males can weigh 130 to 170. Yo, look at this! I want this one. Give me this one. I want this doggy. I want this doggy. Give me this doggy. Eight pounds. Some of the breeding traits that Mayo is after is an animal that somewhat resembles the physical characteristics of a lion. It will be very interesting to see how this new breed of dog turns out and just how dangerous it could be. Now it's Russia's turn to breed a new genetically modified dog. <laughs> Simply known as the Doggo Canario, this dog is one of the most powerful and extremely dangerous breeds on the planet. This breed has cat-like paws and even moves like a cat. <laughs> However, it's cute as long as it's calm. Because these dogs are fearsome, aggressive, and their bite force is an insane 540 pounds per square inch, even an experienced owner can have difficulty managing one. The Presa Canario is number four on the attack list after the Pitbull, Rottweiler, and German Shepherd. Because of this dog's breeding and temperament, this breed is banned in Australia and New Zealand, as well as some areas of the United States.
This interesting and relatively new breed of dog was part of a radical experiment done by crossing German Shepherds with Carpathian Grey Wolves. You can't deny they look noble, oh, man. but they weren't bred for beauty. They were bred to protect borders and are used in military and police forces. They're large, they're powerful, and they have a well-developed sense of smell which leads to strong hunting skills. Interesting. Yes, they have wild DNA. Yes, they can be unpredictable and dangerous, but they are cute. They are. Just look at it. It's a beautiful dog. We added it to our list of dangerous dogs because this dog is banned in some states in the USA. Interesting. But we can't deny it's a good-looking animal. Gorgeous. And if you've already asked your mom to buy one, we better remind you that it's considered the ninth most dangerous dog breed in the world. Ninth? American Bully. Anytime someone is telling you an American Bully is a pit bull, and you know the difference, then make a bet. Because despite the similar appearance, this dog is different and it's bigger and stronger. But why would you create a dog bigger and stronger than a pit bull? Right. Besides what you think, the breed was created to be a good family dog. There are actually three categories of American Bully, but the largest ones are thick and impressively muscular dogs. When these dogs are bred correctly, they are very strong, athletic, and can move really fast. Yes, they can. The bully carries a much heavier bone structure and is a medium-sized dog with a wide, massive forehead. The largest of these is the XL Bully, which can weigh up to 150 pounds. They also pack a lot more bite force than the average pit bull at 305 pounds per square inch. But the truth about this... I want one so bad, man. This is what I want, bro. Give me that American Bully. ...animal is that it has a really good temperament towards people and other dogs. Yes. Bill. See? Positive. Has a really good temperament towards people and other dogs. But you could train them to be otherwise bad temperament. Belgian Melanoi. These Yo! herding dogs are often mistaken for German Shepherds and were bred for herding, but now work as police and military dogs. In the hands of an experienced dog person, these canines are intense, intelligent, and very athletic, but they need daily exercise with training and companionship, or they become destructive. With the Melanoi, it is the last thing you want. Male Melanoi can weigh 55 to 65 pounds. That's it's it? It's definitely not as big as the other dogs in the video, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for with aggression and skill when taking down an attacker. God this dog dang. is trained to bite and hold on and has a bite force of 195 pounds per square inch. If it grabs onto your leg, it's not letting go. That's all we have for- Woo! I can only imagine. I hope I never, ever, ever get bit by any dog. Especially one on this list. I'm done. I still want my American bully. But y'all know what time it is. Like this reaction. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy right here on the gram and Twitter at Art Kicks. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.